Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to fade your audio in and out in DaVinci Resolve and hopefully we can make your audio better. Although this is a very basic editing function, for some though this can be very intimidating when you first start out and this will definitely make your videos better. As always on these audio videos, if you're not sure where to get your music from, I get all of my copyright free music from Upbeat.io. I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to check them out. And without wasting any more time, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. Alright, so we are back in DaVinci Resolve. <clears throat> and if you're around for the last video, then you probably recognize this timeline. We're still working on it. Alright, so today we are learning how to fade audio in and out. So for the start point, and we'll go for, say, the end point. <clears throat> and I'm just going to choose to end it right there where we're walking out. So I've already cut up my audio. We're not going to run through all of that yet. It's coming in the next video. For now, we're just trying to get the basics down. So for the, the start points of my videos, all right, so there's two ways that you can do this. You bring your cursor down, see the little icon down in the down the bottom left on my music timeline. You wanna make sure that it's that icon, you're gonna right click. And from here, you can choose how many frames you want this crossfade to last. I typically like a longer crossfade in my opening and endings. So I'm gonna go with a 48 frame. Now, we're gonna go back. It just gives you a really nice, smooth intro. Now, if you click on it, whenever the icon looks like this, you can actually extend this out. I typically like mine to be about a three second fade, so it comes in a little bit slower. And just like that, you got your crossfade. Now, you're gonna basically do the exact same thing for the end. This time we're gonna put a 24 frame. It's just a smaller one. Again, you can use this icon, click, drag it. You can make it however long that you want to. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And it's gonna play it out. Just like that. Okay, so how I like to do mine, um, that's a quick way to do it if you're in a hurry. Um, either way, if you use it like that, you know, you can still drag and it'll move with it. So, no worries there. Get this little icon right here, you can click on it and you can drag this tail by itself. So, three second, and it basically does the exact same thing. And then we do the same thing right there. So that, that's a quick way to fade in and fade out your transitions for your beginning and end. I hope that these tips help you whenever it comes to your content creation journey and the goals that you have set. Videos definitely get better time after time. You just gotta put in the work, repetition, pick up these tips, these, these small skills, and they add up over time and I can guarantee you that your videos will become better. And again, as always, if you found this video helpful and you liked it, leave a, a like and for the video as this helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read these and it helps me create better content for you. And lastly, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell for the notifications so that you know when we go live with our next video. Thank you, and I will catch you on the next one.